I'm McKenna, a student in the Wells Lab. Um, this is the CAN-DO plus P reactor. Um, the goal is to recover energy uh, by converting influent nitrogen into nitrous oxide, and then at the same time remove uh, phosphorus uh, through denitrifying phosphorus accumulating organisms. Um, through the operation of this reactor, we're hoping to optimize N2O uh, recovery, um, and then in the meantime, learn more about the microbiology of this process. Hi, my name is Bill, and I'm an undergrad in the Wells Lab. Here are our soil battery prototypes, and the goal of our experiment is to understand and model the performances of soil microbial fuel cells under a variety of environmental and soil conditions. Soil MFCs are powered by exoelectrogenic bacteria that breaks down organic carbon and converts them to electricity. Because of that, our hope is to understand the parameters that best allow them to thrive and maximize power output. The long-term goal of this project would be to build devices capable of supplying long-term, renewable, and battery-free power to distributed sensor networks for environmental monitoring and green infrastructure. Hi everyone! My name is Stephanie, and I'm a PhD student here at Northwestern who is co-advised by the Wells and Hartman Labs. Many of the projects we work on have a microbial ecology component. We're often interested in what types of microorganisms are present in different wastewater treatment systems and how they're functioning. By understanding who is present and what they're doing, we can attempt to optimize for certain traits like nitrogen or phosphorus removal. Or we can find out which microorganisms cause loss of function in bioreactors. To answer questions about who is present and how they're functioning, we use a lot of traditional molecular biology techniques. For instance, we can use qPCR to determine if a gene of interest for nitrogen cycling is present and at what quantities in a nitrification reactor. Or we can use PCR to query the bacterial diversity in a system functioning differently than expected. We can then do a deep dive into bioinformatics to better understand wastewater treatment systems. Hey, my name is Jen and I'm the PhD student from Dr. George Wells lab here at Northwestern. Uh, I mainly focus on the development of improved bioprocesses based on biological nitrogen and phosphorus cycle for the purpose of resource efficient nutrient removal from wastewater and to further solve the significant environmental problem of nutrient pollution in natural water systems. We have several parallel batch scale reactors operated by us on site at a wastewater treatment plant we collaborated with to test the feasibility of different file processes designed for nutrient removal. The wastewater samples collected from the bioreactor are brought back to the lab and a scaler shows here, which is a fancy automatic analysis equipment can be applied to measure concentrations of ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and also phosphate in those samples simultaneously. And uh, this results we get from Scalar can help us to track the nutrient dynamics and thus, and thus to better understand the performance of bio process in the reactor. The biomass or so-called activity slide samples are also collected from the bio reactor and are tied back in the freezers in our lab. Multiple molecular technologies in our lab like qPCR it just introduced by Stephanie can be applied to evaluate the abundance and the dynamics of functional microorganisms responsible for nutrient utilization in the reactor.